and welcome to the Snickerdoodle Knits YouTube channel. I am Jessica, the knitter and designer behind Snickerdoodle Knits. In this video, we will talk about how to work the purl stitch. The purl stitch and the knit stitch are the two most common stitches that really make up all of knitting. Most other very difficult stitches are derived from either the knit stitch or the purl stitch. So once you have these basics down, really, you can learn anything. Now to get started with working your purl stitches, you need to either have some stitches already cast onto a needle, or already have stitches that you're working from previous stitch patterns within your knitting pattern. If you are unfamiliar with how to cast on for your knitting project, the link for that video can be found below in the description box of this video. If you've already cast on your stitches or have stitches ready on your needle, to be worked, let's get started. Just like when you're working the knit stitch, you will bring the working stitches into your left hand. You will bring your empty needle into your right hand. Now, the purl stitch is the opposite of the knit stitch. You will notice this once you begin to work purl stitches and knitting stitches next to each other. The right side of a purl stitch is the same as the wrong side of the knit stitch, and vice versa. All right, let's get started. First, you need to bring your working yarn to the front of your needle. Remember when you were knitting, your working yarn had to be in the back of the knitting needle. So bring that yarn to the front. Now, you would remember that with a knit stitch, you put your right hand needle into the bottom of the stitch. We will do just the opposite for the purl stitch. Let's bring the right hand needle into the top of that stitch. Now we will wrap the yarn around over the top of our right needle, pull the knitting needle through, and push that stitch off of the left needle. There, you've already created your first purl stitch. Let's do that again. Put your right needle in through the top of the top left stitch. Wrap your yarn over the top of your needle, pull the needle through, and push your stitch off of the left needle. Once more, bring your right needle through the top of your stitch. Wrap the yarn over your needle, pull the needle through the stitch, and push the stitch off of the left needle. I'll finish this row for demonstration. There! We've already completed one full row of purl stitches. Now, to work these stitches again in purl stitch, we will transfer our working stitches to the left hand and our empty needle to the right hand. We will work exactly the same way. Bring your yarn to the front of your needle, put your right needle through the top of the stitch, wrap the yarn around, pull the needle through, and push the stitch off. Through the top, around, through, off. Through the top, around, through, off. I will continue to work in purl stitch for multiple rows to show you what it looks like. See you in a few! There! Now I've worked a few rows of purl stitch. If you're observant, you might think, wait, that looks like garter. And you wouldn't be wrong. The thing is, remember what I said about the purl stitch being the opposite of the knit stitch? This is actually the opposite of garter stitch in that our first row is an indented row rather than being one of these bump rows. So we have the indented row and then a bump row and then an indented row and a bump row and so on and so forth. Typically you will be working in knit stitch for repeated rows to create this kind of texture. It is not common that you would be working in multiple rows of purl stitch. I hope you enjoyed this video and feel confident with working purl stitches. 
If you continue to have questions, go ahead and replay this video at a slower speed or leave your questions in the comments below. I hope you found this tutorial simple and easy to follow. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and if you're interested in notifications, hit the notification bell. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I look forward to seeing you around. Happy knitting!